No power to ignition coil. What to do? So Keith Reynolds, one of our sub one of our subscribers and Patreon supporters, sent us this really interesting question that I think merits a a uh, an in depth video response. So Keith has observed that he is not getting any power to the positive side of his ignition coil, and I want to try to um, I want to try to explain how this could happen especially on a car like a 280SC 4.5 or a, um, uh, uh, a similar car that has transistorized ignition. So first of all, Mercedes that use transistorized ignition have a, uh, they have a tendency if their transistorized ignition control unit goes down to develop this issue where, where no power arrives and, and um, Power has to pass through the transistorized ignition control unit to get to the coil, and then it has to go back through the negative side through the ignition points, and what it has to do is it has to be processed by the transistorized ignition control unit so that the coil uh, opens and closes. The transistorized ignition control unit is effectively grounding the circuit so that the coil can fire off. So, Keith has already checked his resistors for resistance, but what he should be doing is he should be checking the blue resistor to make sure that power is arriving to it and that power is flowing through it. And he also needs to be making sure that on the output side of the blue resistor, the additional wire from the starter is powering the resistor up. If this is the case, and this is all working, then your next stop is the transistorized ignition control unit. This thing should deposit a direct 9 amps on the positive side of the coil, but it should also open and close the coil circuit as the engine is cranking. This circuit, which is uh, actually a fairly simple circuit, can only be affected by the points. So what you want to make sure of when you pop the distributor cap off is that when you open and close the ignition points, you ha either have continuity or you don't. What this means is that if I were to hook a test light up to the, uh, to the points, uh, to, the, to the pigtail on the points where it plugs in at the distributor and, in, and set one end of the test light down on the positive terminal of the battery and hook another end up to the little pigtail that goes to the points. As I open and close the points by hand, the flashlight and the test light should turn on and off, meaning the points are opening and closing without a direct short to ground. That's what we're looking for. Now, I'm guessing by your email, I'm going to make this easy, that because power is flowing, maybe flowing through the resistors or no power is getting to the white, to the silver banded resistor, which precedes the coil, you may have a bad transistorized control unit. You have a couple of resources. You can send it to Programma to have it tested and or repaired as needed, or you can send it to a company on the West Coast called Systems Consulting, which rebuilds the transistorized control units as well. These two companies can ensure that you have a good repair on, on both ends. I think that Chris Rose at CruiseControlRepair.com can also repair these items. Although I have not sent one to him yet, I look forward to picking his brain about it in the future. Chris, if you're watching, I have a lot of faith in you. Um, but, it, you know, a couple questions I get after this. Does this mean that transistorized ignition is unreliable and does it mean that I should convert to electronic ignition? No, it doesn't. It just means that your control unit, after working for 50 years of providing reliable service, needs to have some cap capacitors replaced. Uh, number two, could there be a wiring connection that is the issue? Well, two things I should tell you. Number one, the plug at the transistorized ignition control unit may not be fitting properly. Number two, the transistorized control unit may not be grounded effectively. It has to be grounded effectively. If it is not grounded effectively, it will not work. 
And then number three, does this mean that uh, I might have a bad ignition condenser. Well, yes, if your condenser is shorting the ground, but actually the 4 or 5 does not need a condenser. You can eliminate the condenser. If you really want to have one with a condenser in it, you can get one from a 280SE. 3.5, it's about $140 from Mercedes. So that's all. That's all I want to tell you guys. Um, so in the meantime, here's the spiel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please tap the bell for notifications. Keith, thank you and all of our other Patreon supporters for supporting us on Patreon. Look forward to a new Mercedes-Benz Classics video soon. I am not sure which car we're going to do. I'd like some feedback from you guys. And in the meantime, tap the bell for notifications so you can see our next great video and enjoy working on your Mercedes-Benz. Nice. All right.